Hi everyone. So today in this video, I'll be talking about five different techniques which are so useful and which will prove to be so wonderful in your future, which will which will help you to land in a very dream job where you can get huge salary for, for doing those kind of work. So as a biology graduate or as a graduate for pharmacy or a graduate in biotechnology, you might be uh, studying so many different uh, courses or subjects and uh, for example, pharmaceutical biotechnology or even like uh, pharmaceutical chemistry or many pharmacology. Of course, there are many different traditional uh, techniques or even traditional subjects which have a huge demand. But in this video, I'll be talking about those uh, uh, those techniques which don't require too much of resources or even don't require any benchmark or even any kind of uh, uh, lab lab research where you don't need too much of money to buy certain uh, huge stuff or even to buy any expensive instrument. Uh, so in this video, we will explore five more five powerful bioinformatics techniques that not only advance scientific understanding but also uh, immense potential uh, but also it has an immense potential for financial success and uh, believe me uh, i know that uh, while working in us i have seen a lot of people they have been earning huge money even uh, 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 like as a bioinformatician they have they have been doing a lot of data analysis and paying huge money like 60 or 70000 us dollar a year or even like more you know some people even make like 100k 100k us dollar a year so these so in this video we'll be emphasizing in on those five different techniques where which you can learn and increase your uh cv uh in cvs quality and in, enhance your skill so first technique is the genome wide association studies that is also referred as g g w a s so <clears throat> uh the g w a s it's a technique that allows uh, you to identify genetic variations associated with the specific traits or even the disease. And by analyzing the vast uh, data set of genetic information, GWAS can, okay, let it be called at GWAS. We can call it GWAS from now. So this GWAS analysis can uncover links between genes and valuable characteristics in agriculture or even medicines and, and whatnot in beyond, like even whether it is pharmaceutical, uh, industry or whether it is a biomedical research industry and imagine like, developing uh, a huge uh, crop or even predicting disease susceptibility with uh, pinpoint accuracy you can identify what are the genes important for particular disease or particular physiological condition and the applications are limitless as they are like very, very lucrative and uh, bioinformatic experiences they they usually do this kind of analysis so how to do this we will uh, that for that i will make a separate video but here i'm mainly focusing on what are those techniques so first is gwas analysis that is gene y gene genome wide association studies that is gwas and second is the protein structure prediction as a pharma graduate or have a, or as a chemistry graduate you might always hear, hear, heard about some protein protein structure prediction so in this uh, uh, technique the protein structure is predicted with a different kind of tools including molecular uh, molecular simulation kind of studies or even uh, with the advanced algorithms and machine learning and for example recently there is uh, there is there has been launch of alpha fold based uh, like alpha fold 2 or even alpha fold 3 these are used for protein prediction structure protein structure prediction and we can even forecast the three dimensional shape of the proteins from their amino acid sequences and this capability is like is, is like booming you know it can revolutionize the drug discovery and design and it can even potentially slash development cost and time to market for new pharmaceutical product and the financial implications for the biotech and the pharmaceutical industries are quite struggling for uh, using this technique the third third one is uh, uh, the third one is well, the third one is the metagenomics. The metagenomics is a, it's a very important technique and it's, it studies deals with the genetic material uh, recovered directly from the environmental samples. And this powerful approach, uh, it allows us to explore the vast untrapped potential of the microbial communities. Here you can analyze the microbes uh, from different samples and from developing new antibiotics to creating even more efficient biofuels or even metagenomics that this this particular technique is very, very important and it opens doors to entirely new industries and revolve uh, the streams around it. 
So this metagenomic is also very, very important technique. If you learn uh, this technique, uh, you can analyze the microbial samples and you can find some target uh, based on that analysis. The fourth is the transcriptomic analysis. So it deals with the uh, uh, gen genetic, it deals with the gene expression analysis. It involves like RNA-seq or uh, like mRNA, finding mRNA expression of certain target genes. So uh, how to analyze a uh, uh, gene uh, gene expression and how to analyze gene expression using the public data set for that i have made a separate video you can uh, check it out in my youtube channel so uh, well in this uh, we'll just talk about this transcriptome analysis here we uh, we mainly deal with the study of the complete set of mrna or rna transcript that is produced by the genome and this technique provides crucial insights uh, insights into gene expression pattern offering a offering a dynamic view of cellular activity like how the cells are behaving uh, depending on the gene expression analysis and in the fields like personalized medicines and uh, even the agriculture biotechnology transcriptomics this can even guide the development of tailor treatments and even high crops or even pro promising substantial uh, return on investment so with this you can find some target hits even you can find like what kind of uh, genes are important what kind of genes are you know, playing important functions in certain uh, physiological as well as pathological conditions and of course there is a huge uh, huge resources uh, which you need to learn about in this field as well and you can dig uh, deeper uh, to find some uh, to find certain target hits but this is also very important uh, research you don't need any fancy instrument or something you, you can just do it by your computer and fifth is the network biology where uh, in this uh, we mainly examine the complex interactions between the biological components by mapping and analyzing their intricate uh, networks and we can even better understand the disease pathological conditions and identify new drug uh, targets and even optimize the biological systems. Well, the potential of uh, the potential applications span from improving uh, industrial fermentation process to developing novel cancer therapies, and each representing a significant market opportunities. And in this in this way, so these are the five important uh, techniques which you can learn, be, whether you are a pharma graduate or you are a biotech graduate or any science graduate. In uh, first is. Uh, or, or any biology, uh, biological science graduate, like uh, first one is genome-wide analysis, uh, that is GWA studies, genome-wide association studies, second is protein structure prediction, third is metagenomics, fourth is transcriptomics, and finally the fifth one is the network biology. So I hope you like the video. Uh, thank you.